This morning, amen. How many know it's good to praise the Lord? Yes, amen. yes, all the time. Yes, amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Uh, just a couple of house cleanings and announcements. Uh, listen, I want y'all to put your hands together. Last Sunday, we actually did a move worship service in Little Rock, Arkansas. Amen. Uh, amen. Yes. Yes. 
Just in case we decide we want to expand. Amen. I oh, see, see, I gotta think big. Sometimes it's okay to expand. Amen. 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 I was talking to a couple of uh, people there and asked them, hey, what, what, we, what if we expand the moon church in different locations, Texas, Florida, Arkansas, Virginia? Uh, that'd be so awesome. Amen. And to be able to have a major impact. Uh, this Tuesday, this Tuesday night, we'll be doing our moon relationship hour. We didn't do it last Tuesday, but this Tuesday. And our topic will be, um, what was asked, what we talk about is, is sex important in a relationship? Is sex important in a relationship? Uh, but I kind of add a little flavor to it. I add a little bit of flavor to it. Uh, not only want to talk about is sex important in a relationship, but what happens if the sex is not good? But what happens if the sex is bad? How, because at the end of the day, when you are married, divorce and adultery is not an option. Amen. 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 So we're going to talk about how to navigate that when, when uh, uh, your sex life in your marriage or whatever your relationship is not where it needs to be and how to navigate that in the marriage because you have to navigate that. We're going to see what the Bible says. We're going to see what the Bible says about that and how to manage that. So we're going to have a real discussion, y'all. We're going to have a real discussion on Tuesday night, a serious discussion that I think people need to talk about before they get married. Amen. Amen. And we need to talk about this while they're married. Yeah. And we're going to talk about, and then we're also going to talk about what is good sex and what is bad sex, what's healthy sex, what's unhealthy sex. Amen. From a biblical perspective. Amen. 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 So listen, listen, just come on out Tuesday morning. Also, uh, July, I believe July 19th, the 17th or 19th, uh, which is the third Tuesday of the month, I believe, third Tuesday of the month. Uh, me and a couple of veterans for Tuesday night Bible study will be doing a barbershop talk. Barbershop talk. Uh, it's going to be me and some other African American veterans who serve in the Army, Marines, Air Force. And what we're going to talk about, one of the things that disturbed me in this town in Culpeper is that you have young people who are not going to college, young people who are not trying to get a trade. But you have grown people telling them not to go into the military, and pretty much these kids ain't doing nothing but getting in trouble. We want to kind of try to talk about uh, uh, and get rid of some of the negative understanding with the military. Because a lot of people that think they know the military ain't never been in Boston, they've never been in the Air Force, and they're negative about it. So what we're going to do is, uh, me and a couple of African American um, veterans who have, have found some success from the military, we're just going to sit and just have a barbershop. We're going to be in a barbershop. We're just going to talk about how the military benefited us and how it helped us get to where we are. Because one thing I will tell you, uh, if you do it right, if you do the military right, one enlistment, one enlistment of three or four years can set you up for life. Amen. I'm just being real with you. If you do it the right way, if you do the right thing, one enlistment can set you up for life. Amen. 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 Right. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna sit and just have a conversation. Amen. 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 So listen, that's all we have. Amen. That's all I have. Come on, let's give God a hand. Amen. 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 Uh, all of our partners and disciples of the Moon Church who are traveling uh, to New York, to the Beach, uh, wherever they're traveling, those who are traveling to Mexico, those my Facebook friends, all those out there traveling. Uh, I'm hating on y'all right now because y'all in Mexico and all that stuff. I'm hating on y'all. And when you be traveling to, yeah, y'all be going to some places. I was in Arkansas. Y'all got Mexico and all <laughs> full resorts and fields. You know, five, six, five hotels. I remember the King Hands. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 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 So I'm hating on y'all right now. Listen, listen. Live your best life. Amen. Live your best life. Amen. Life is short. Amen. Be a good steward, Amen. but you ain't taking that money with you. Amen. 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 Be a good steward. There's nothing wrong with making sure you take care of yourself. You work hard. Amen. You work diligently. Amen. And look, some of you, y'all feeling guilty for the wrong. Look, the kids grow up, forget them kids. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you deserve it. You raised them. Have a good time. Amen. Amen. So we're going to have. Now you should come back up soon.
when he says, go to work, that's when the king of kings will come in. When the saints go up in praise, that's when the spirit inhabits this place. When the saints get on one accord and begin to bless the Lord, then the who is strong and mighty? Thank you, thank you. Oh, the King who is mighty in battle. Oh, the King of glory shall come in when the saints go to worship. That's when deliverance will take place. When the saints go up in prayer, all of Satan's power are erased. Every trial the enemy sets can work. Won't work. Then the king who is strong and mighty. Thank you, thank you. Oh, the king who is mighty in battle. Oh, the king of glory shall come in. Genesis 13, Genesis 13, the first book in the Bible. Amen. Amen. Genesis 13, if you will, turn with me, if you may stand with me. I'm going to read a few verses, but we're going to navigate through this entire chapter, but we're just going to read up we're for a couple of verses. Amen. And we'll start verse 1. And Abram went up from Egypt, he and his wife and all he had. Lot with him to the south. Abram was very rich in livestock and silver and gold, and he went on his journey from the south as far as Bethel 
to the place where his tent had been in the beginning between Bethel and Ai, to the place of the altar which he had made there first, and there Abram called on the name of the Lord. Lot also, who went with him, had flocks and herds and tents. Now the land was not able to support them that they might dwell together, for their possessions were so great that they could not dwell together. And there was strife between the herdsmen of Abram's livestock and the herdsmen of Lot's livestock. The Canaanites and the Perizzites then dwelt in the land. So Abram said to Lot, Please let there be no strife between you and me, between my herdsmen and your herdsmen, for we are brothers. It is not the whole land before you. Please separate from me. It will, if you take the left, then I will go to the right. And if you go to the right, then I will go to the left. You may be seated. Yeah, amen. Of the Lord. Yeah, thank you. Oh, look, look, this is, is it. Not the whole land before you, please separate from me. Yeah. If yeah. you take the left, then I will go to the right. If you go to the right, then I will go to the left. Amen. Just for a few minutes, I want to tag yeah. this text with this title. How to properly dissolve a relationship. Amen. How to Amen. properly dissolve a relationship. Amen. I discovered, uh, I remember when I turned 40. Amen. My goal is for it was re-examining my team. In other words, looking at my circle, who's around me, who's not around me. Amen. 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 And I don't know if you heard of people or you know people that say, everybody, this person is my friend. This person is my Come friend. How many of y'all know people like that? Come on, somebody. Well, what I discovered on that people, I have a tendency to hang on to relationships than I should. Amen. Amen. I have, a, I have a bad habit of yes. being loyal to Me individuals Amen. who have not shown that same loyalty. Yes. Amen. Uh, yes. Um, I found myself calling people more than they called me and checking Amen. on their business. Amen. To the place I have gotten myself in a situation yes. where I find I have more people pulling from me Amen. than I actually have putting into me. Amen. I, I, am I talking to somebody? Yes, where, yes. Where I'm yes. always the one loaning money. I'm always the one I'm giving always advice. Yes. I'm always the one of going to their things. But but when I look at my situation and that those I believe that will be there for me, that circle is very small. Amen. Amen. And what I learned and what I learned in life is that what we must understand and realize that some relationships are just seasonal. Amen. Just because Amen. you were friends in high school yeah. does not mean you, you can be friends while you see your sins. Because people change, people uh, grow, people go in their right direction. And, and what I discovered is that even when I dated, even uh, just being homie, is that what I discovered Amen. is I had an inability to dissolve relationships. Amen. In other words, that, that I, I wanted to create something where they'll stop messing with me. Amen. But the reality, God told me a long time ago to stop messing Amen. with me. And it doesn't mean that they're bad people. It doesn't mean uh, 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 that the devil or they're working with them. But, but the reality is that some relationships do have an expiration date on them. Amen. Some, some relationships, some people, even though with their family, you got to love them from a distance. Amen. Because the reality is that when we're going to go into this text, we find out is that God can't really bless you like He's going to bless you because you're hanging on to too many things that God is trying to give you. Wow, we look at this text. We look at this text. We find uh, in this text in Genesis, we're going to find out uh, 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 how to properly dissolve a relationship, how to end a relationship, and go your separate ways without having to be mad, without having to be angry. Nobody has to be bitter, and nobody has to hold any grudges. Amen. Uh, are y'all ready to go to work? Let's go to work. We, we find in Genesis chapter thirteen. Abram and his lot, his nephew, they have a problem. Amen. Amen. Now, if you read Genesis and you look at in Abraham's story in its entirety, we understand that God told Abram to leave his family and go to a place where I'll lead you. Amen. Amen. But in this process, Abram decided to take his, his nephew, Lot, with him. 
Now, mind you, they left with nothing. They had nothing. But guess what? Everything was good. Amen. But as Abram left and followed God, Abram started picking up possessions. Abram started to get money. He went to Amen. Egypt and, and he was taken care of by the king there. Now we find in Genesis 13 that Abram got a little bag. Amen. Y'all don't know what a bag is. I mean, he got some money. In there. But here's the thing, but the reality is that when you get to 13, and that's when we say that he was rich in silver and gold, he had stuff, but then the Bible says that 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 Lot also went with Abel. He had Lot's herd and money too. Amen. Now it's funny because when they started off, Lot didn't have anything. Amen. 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 But now Lot got it going on. And, and, and what we must understand in some relationships that the only reason your friend has anything uh -huh. is because they've been hanging with you. Yeah. Yeah. The only reason they're blessed, the only reason they got prosperity yeah. is because they know that hanging with you. Yeah. And the way I realize is that you want to be the type of person that when folk connect to you, they are yeah. helping somebody. I, I told somebody else yeah. the other day, I said, listen, I'm not trying to brag, but everybody Everybody that's connected to me, Glory. you winning, y'all. Uh, uh, everybody, you got to be that person that when folks get around you, they become blessed. In other words, they, when they're around you, they should be blessed and not stressed. They should be happy. They should be ready to do some great things when they're hanging around you. Like, when you go to a church, that church became godly when you walked in. When, that, when you go to the job, that job became successful. Not because of what y'all do, but because I came in. And what, but what I discovered that there are people that they are benefiting off the blessings you have. They are benefiting off the anointing you have. They're not adding any value to what you're doing, but all they do is take, take, take. And the problem is we're carrying these people from this place to this place, carrying them with us, and they're not putting any value or anything into your life. And you're just hanging on to the relationship. And, and, and now what happens is, this is what happens, that when Lot has some stuff, but the Bible says in verse 6, that for their possessions were so great, they could not dwell together. What happened? What happened? Abraham and Lot, they were, they were family, they were cool, they traveled together. They both got it over. But every now and then relationships, you can outgrow each other. Yes. Amen, amen. This is a part that you, you got it going on, I got it going on, you got your education, I got my, sometimes you can outgrow people. Yeah. It doesn't mean you're a bad person, it doesn't mean you're negative, because yeah. one thing I want to help you understand is that every relationship does not have to be broken out of strife. Amen. 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 You know you can end the relationship without being mad. Amen. You just continue to move on. Amen. You know what? You ain't got to wait for an argument Amen. to meet somebody. Amen. Sometimes you got to move while you come. Amen. But the problem is we want we are hang on the relationship because we want them to make the first move. We want them to break off the relationship. And next thing you know, you're holding grudges when you just ended their relationship a long time ago. Amen. Because one thing I discovered is you don't need to call real. Yeah. 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 So the, the, they had the both got it going on, but now they're in a place where they have outgrown each other. It's not Amen. enough room for both of their egos. Amen. Amen. It's not enough room for them. Yeah. And and what and here's also what happened. Here's what also becomes difficult. Because also based on your relationship, the relationships change. Yes, every day. Oh, Amen. this is Relationships change, yes. and you're trying to stay loyal to how the relationship used to be, yes. how the friendship yes. used to be, yes. but the friendship has changed a long time ago, yes. and now you're frustrated, you're upset. Yes. For example, in other words, you'll be in some people's life, and you will be their mentor, or they will be your mentor, yes. and you have a mentor-mentee relationship. Amen. Amen. But what happens is when the mentee starts to grow and mature and get in a position of mentor, you're no longer their mentor. Amen. Oh, don't miss that. Amen. In other words, you have got to a place you can't tell them what to do, not because they don't listen to nobody, but now they're in a place where they don't really need your mentorship. And what happens is you're trying to be a mentor Amen. instead of a friend. Oh, don't miss that. And what happens now, the relationship doesn't work. Amen. Listen, I've had some men and people in my life that were my mentors. They were my mentors. And, they, and what happened is now that I've grown in ministry, I'm where I am, and they still think they can tell me what to do. And I'm like, well, oh, my. No, hold on. 
Oh, partner, you're not going to be trying to dictate and tell me. Because some people only want to be your mentor so they can tell you to control you. But the reality is that I'm in a place. You, listen, it's not that you were bad time, bad thing, but when you have had your season, and many of us want to can hang out relationships, be the only one that's forgiven all the time, the only one trying to reconcile, the only one that had kissed somebody's breath, and then they have the opportunity to apologize to you, they come, they walk right back into the relationship like nothing happens, and it's just going to help me somebody. I don't know about you, but I forgive you, but you ain't going to do me bad, and you walk up and start talking to me like you ain't never did nothing. Matter of fact, there's a whole lot of folk in my life that owe me an apology. When they call me, I bring it up. Hey, hey before we had this conversation, are we going to still talk about what you did? Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is going to blow your mind. When I was thinking this morning, people said, why aren't you going to forgive? Ain't that the Christian thing to do? Let me explain something to you. Jesus, when he reconciled the world, only died one time. I don't have to keep reconciling. I don't have to keep dying. I don't have to keep putting myself on the back burner and going to fix this relationship. I'm the only one trying to make this thing I'm the only one that this gave no apology. I'm the only one that this time wants to move on. Jesus only had to die for us one time. Why do you keep dying for people over and over again? Today. Yeah. So they're having an issue. But look what happens. Look yeah. what happens. This is how you know they need to resolve it. Look, look, yeah. resolve it. Look, look. He said there was strife between our husband and Abraham's livestock Israel. The Amen. fight wasn't even between Lot and Abraham. It was those around him. Amen. Say that. And when you get to a this is how you know you need to resolve a relationship. Yes. When you get to the point in your relationship. Well, other people got y'all arguing, yeah. then it's time for you to move on. Because if you're going to be mad at me because of what somebody else said, yeah. and you ain't even came to me, yeah. and we got beef, not because of me and you, we got beef because yeah. of other people, then me and you don't need to be free. Amen. 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 And look, but not only that, the relationship had got to a place where it wasn't even them fighting with the people around them. Yeah. But here's what happened. The Bible put us out of point. The parasites and the Canaanites lived with them. What does that mean? What they had to do? Because what happens is when, when you're in a relationship that God is already trying to resolve, you start making it miserable for other people. Uh, Folks start getting in the middle of your mess. Well, help me somebody. Yeah. Have you ever had two friends or two family members and you was in the middle of it? Yeah. In other words, they come to you about them and they come to you about them. And what happens is you in the middle and ain't nobody thought about how you felt about it. Ain't nobody thinking about it. They come to you in the middle of the situation they left and you know they both wrong, they both ignorant. And what happens is, is that sometimes you got to dissolve relationships. So guess what? Just because me and you friends don't mean we still got to be friends. Y'all can still be friends. You ain't got to choose between me and them. I tease you. I just ain't fool with this person anymore. But if y'all want to be friends, y'all just go shopping and don't call me. When your relationship is affecting other people and stressing other people yeah. out, when your rela- can I talk to some folks oh, in bad yeah. relationships? Yeah. If you are in a bad relationship and you got to keep calling them folks to borrow money to pay rent, pay money, pay your light bill because y'all tripping, guess what? You're putting other people in a bad situation. Y'all need to break up. Amen. You know how many folks I told folks have to can we get some marriage counseling? The first thing I ask is, do y'all really want to make it work? Because you ain't about to waste my time. If you ain't got no intention on making it work, if you ain't trying to make it work, do not waste my 45. I can find something else to do. You ain't going to say that you're a pastor. Yes, I am. I got other people that need me. There are other people that need me to pay for me. And I'm not going to get in the middle of your mess. And you ain't even serious about making it work. The folk will train you, they will have you counsel them, they will have you pray for them, and they won't give you a dime if they don't broke up. And guess what? You just spend all that time with them and not your family. It's not worth it. Let it go. It's not worth it. Friendship, there's some friendship. Listen, listen, I got a rule now. I got a rule that I have a six month rule. Amen. I go through my phone every six months. Amen. And if I notice you ain't called me in those six months, I'll delete what I need your number for. Amen. Why do I need you taking up my gigabytes or whatever that is? Taking up the room, and that's 
Why well, can't take pictures? I'm going to take pictures to have you on my phone. Amen. Some of y'all can't have lost room because you can't take no pictures. Amen. But I bet you if you go through your contact list and delete your phone, <laughs> that'll make some room so you can take some pictures. Amen. You know, every now and then I got checked for who was this. I don't remember. I don't, know I don't even lie. I deleted some numbers out my phone. I don't be saying, but I got a new phone. No, I deleted some numbers. <laughs> who was this? Amen. Listen, listen, listen. They had issue. They had strife. But here's how what happened. Now it's time to end this relationship. Amen. Verse 8. So Abraham said to Lot, please let there be no strife Amen. between you and me. And between my husband and your husband, we, we are brother. Mm -hmm. okay. The first thing how to resolve a relationship, the person who's the most spiritually mature needs to initiate the conversation. Mm -hmm. Amen. Stop waiting on immature people to break up with you. Come on. Yeah. Amen. That's good. Come on. Yeah. Amen. Quit waiting on people who have not grown yeah. spiritually to end the relationship with you. Because yeah. you feel bad, sometimes you got to have enough spiritual awareness to say, this is over, I'm done. Yeah, mm -hmm. Sorry. We can't Man. be friends no more. Sorry. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with And be mature. Don't, don't go out. Okay? Sometimes don't go out on your couch. Don't just stop calling them or whatever. Let them know, hey, I'm just letting you know this Amen. is the problem. Yeah. Amen. We can't be friends no more because you gossip too much. Amen. Amen. We can't be friends no more because guess what? You was mad at me based on what you heard and you didn't even come talk to me. Amen. 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 Teacher. You yeah. let them folk talk about me and you didn't say nothing. Yeah. 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 I'm telling y'all right now. You let them talk about me and you don't say nothing. We, we ain't friends. Amen. But I'm like, you gonna sit there and listen to them talk about me and you know what they say and not you and you ain't saying it, right? Amen. Amen. He went, see, see, Abel was the oldest and the more mature, but he went to Abel and said, look, like, we, we, we can't do this. Amen. We, we can't, I don't want no beef in between us. Amen, amen. Because, listen, I don't want no beef between us, because you, you don't have to be mad, you don't have to be angry, you don't have to have nothing crazy to lose amen. friendship. Some amen. friendship expire. Yeah. Amen. And look what he said, look, 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 look. He said, listen, first night, it's not the whole man before you please separate from me. If you take the left, then I will go to the right. If you go to the right, then I will go to the left. So not only you have to be the first to initiate the breakup. Amen. Offer them, let them select the conditions of the breakup. Amen. Be Amen. mature enough to say, listen, listen, we don't have to be cool anymore. What you want? Amen. I owe you $100. Don't even worry about it. I need 200 See ya. Call it a day. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Call it a day. Then the addition, hey, you know what, you owe me $200? You want to pay me back? No? Okay, cool. God bless you. Because I let you, I gave you. See, you gave me. See, sometimes, let him, sometimes you got to eat some stuff to bring up some yes. Amen. Yeah. Eat it all up. Eat it all up. Clean the plate. I done told her, hey, I hope that $100 gets you a lot when you need me. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Say <laughs> that. Amen. Because last time I checked, y'all worth more than $100. Ah, that's right. Because you're going to say you worth more than $100. Yeah. You don't have to stop calling me. You don't have to avoid me. But the bottom line is you choose. Do you, do you want to pay me back? Amen. But understand if you don't pay me. Still good. Amen. Amen. If you don't pay me, I'm still Amen. good. But understand, Amen. we we can't be cool on it. Because you ain't gonna be pouring me a hundred dollars and I get buying Jordan and buying stuff. Oh, and pay the people, take the old boy out to eat, Amen. the red lobster, y'all all over. Oh, let me help you somebody. Don't yeah. tell me, man, you done lost somebody yeah. money, but they just thought they were struggling, yeah. and then yeah. on Facebook spotting. I'm oh, helping somebody. Yeah. They're on Facebook yeah. talking about what they ate, how many yeah. cookies they bought, yeah. all this stuff. Yeah. And you looking at it, you owe me uh, some money. Yeah. And I know them dozen cookies talk about 12 hours. Yeah. I know them t shirts. I know them cups talk about $30 at least, man. And the bottom line, you up here taking pictures with it, and you owe me money? Yeah. Where my phone? Delete. Let them choose. Let them choose. Because then what happens is when they think about later, it's not on you. Amen. I gave you a choice. Amen. I gave you a choice. Yes. Amen. Even in relationships when you're dating or you're married and it's time to break up, give them the choice. What do you want? Amen. I'm not going to sit up here and stress and fight no, for no house for you. Amen. Yeah. All I have to do is take it out my hand. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. You can have it. You can have this stuff. Yes. Mm-hmm. What you take? Take it all. I'll be all right. I'm going to sleep on the floor to sleep next to you. Nah. <laughs> Some of those shit, you gotta, you gotta be the one to leave with nothing. Yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And Abraham said, listen, bang, whatever this, he said, look, we got to separate. Yep. That's what he said, we got Amen. to, listen, this is not yeah. working. Amen, yeah. We can't, we can't coexist anymore. I'm your family, I love you, but yeah. this is not working. In order for us not to be hate, for us not to hate each other, in order for us not to be bitter, let's separate. And you, listen, not only yourself, you decide the condition. Which way you want to go. Amen. And whatever way you go, I'm going the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Don't, and here's what he's saying. Don't worry about what, once you make your choice, don't worry about what I'm doing. Don't, don't worry about what I'm doing. Don't worry about who I be with. Don't worry about who I'm talking to. You decide to go. It, oh, can I help somebody right now? It drives me crazy when I hear these men talking about I don't want nobody around my kid. I don't want nobody in my baby face. Well, you should have stayed with me. You have to stay with me. Somebody brought your baby, somebody died. <laughs> 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 you should stay. Let them choose the condition. Yes, yes, listen, listen, listen. Amen. So look, look, look. He said, You go. But Lot looked up his eyes. Yes. And he saw all the plains of the joy. He saw the good part. Amen. And it was well watered everywhere. Because what happens is, this is how you really know it's time to end that relationship. It's really time in a relationship or past do when you decide to move on yeah. and they try to take advantage of the breaker. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Ooh. Can I help somebody? Yeah. What do you mean, Pastor? Yeah. What do you mean? See, what happens is, is that you know it was time to end the relationship yeah. when y'all stop being friends, but they still trying to get your mother's uh, friendship. They start, they try to get all the friends that's connected to you to hang with them. Oh, don't miss that. They try to get the best part yeah. of the relationship. In other words, y'all don't hang with him. Y'all don't hang with her. Y'all continue to hang with me. That's when you know I still know you weren't no good in the first place. Right. And what happens is that, oh God, can I help somebody? Can I talk to some pastors out there? And you done got connected with your deacons. You done got connected with the church folk. But, and they say they're going to be there with you. But soon as they get rid of you, they're going to try to get all the power and authority. They want to be the new pastor. They want to be the new pastor. They want to be the you left that church, they were going to follow you. But as soon as you left, they decided to, uh, they were the one, the main one, trying to vote you out on a secret ballot. All I'm saying is that you got to be careful. And what they don't realize is that what they're choosing, that they think they're choosing over you, instead of choosing the friendship, instead of choosing the anointing you have, they choose something that's not going to last. Because Lot chose Sodom and Gomorrah, and we know what happened to that. You thought the craft was bringing on the other side and yeah. God burned it all the ass. He chose the lie. He chose a better place for He thought he yeah. Instead of choosing, and you got, like I said, you have to initiate the discussion. You got to be the one to break it off. Sometimes you got to listen, I'm done. Yeah, finish. I'm yeah. done. God bless you. Yes. Yeah. I ain't give you some good words. I even listen on somebody the other day because somebody gave me some good preaching material. Because I had to cut somebody off this morning. Amen. I said, it's obvious we're on two different paths. God bless you. Amen. 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 That's how you know this. We're on two different paths. God bless you. We don't. I put DNA on your name. DNA. And I put DNA behind your name before I delete them and do nothing else. Amen. I put a break on DNA. That phone call, that test come up, do not ask them. And when you put up that question, when they text you, do not answer. When they call you, do not answer. When they come around and see you in the Walmart, speak and keep it moving. Do not answer. How you been? I've been good. I've been great. Blessed deal with the Holy Spirit. Oh, you, you should call me sometime. I'm good. He chose Sodom. He chose Gomorrah. Over the anointing of Abraham. Don't miss that. 
and don't be hurt by it. Don't be, people will choose the wrong thing instead yeah. of being connected with you. Yeah. Oh, can I help you ladies? Yeah. How many times, we come help you ladies? How many yeah. times he yeah. broke up with you to be with that girl really? and she done gave him hell if you want to come back? Really? Yeah. Do that answer. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Got to go. You know how many times I lost girlfriends and light skinned dudes? Oh, it was hard. Life's gonna do. Who he got three eyes? Really? He got two and a half. And one eye. Really? Amen. And guess what? Now they miserable because he thought he was pretty in the heart. And when they call, guess what? I do not answer. Yeah. 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 I'm not Shalimar. Ain't no second time tonight. Amen. Amen. Look, look. The Lord chose for himself all the way to Joe. He thought he was getting something, y'all. But the men of Sodom were, were exceedingly wicked and selfish against the Lord. Because here's what happens. When, when you break relationships or whatever, folk will, some people will only want you in their circle Amen. if you're doing what they circle do. Amen. Say that. Be careful who circle you try to be. Amen. Because you have to be in that circle if you're doing what they're doing. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Yes. I, have, I, have, I have two circles. I have a main circle of preachers that I have with. Amen. And I have an intermediate circle. Amen. 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 My main circle is only about three preachers. Amen. And none of them from Coca. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I ain't ain't nobody from Coca. Amen. But I got, three, I got three guys that I know if I need something up in trouble, Amen. I can call them. Yes, yes. Three of those guys. Yes. I can share some things with them. Yes. One of them, one of them, I can actually share. My personal thing to go into my house, some personal issues I have, and I know I'm not going to be judged. Amen. Then I have an intermediate circle. There's, two, there's only two guys in there. Neither one of them go down. Amen. 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 It's okay. It's okay. Because what happens is, yes. they, but the understand, they understand, and we understand to be in our circle that I'm about character and God living. Amen. So there are some circles I don't get invited to because I'm not sleeping around on my wife. There are some circles I don't get invited to because I'm not in the there's a circle yeah. I don't get invited yeah. to because they're not doing the right thing. And you got to be cool with some circles yeah. you can't be in. And, yeah. if you, and sometimes it's okay to get out of the yeah. circle. Yeah. 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 Amen. 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 Well, don't be that person. Oh, don't be that person at Cold Pepper that keep going around and proud about don't know how to get out of the circle. Amen. Amen. All you got to do is think of right. You choose right, you'll get out. Oh, that's good. Right? <laughs> if you choose right, You'll get out the bad circle. Choose yeah, yeah. right. right. Look, he, 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 and, and what happened, they choose the evilness, and they'll do that, and you don't need that in your life. Amen. Look what happened. Look what happened. Amen. 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 And the Lord said to Abraham, after this happened, the Lord speaks to Abraham. He speaks to him. He said, after a lot of separate from him, lift your eyes now. And look from the place where you are, northward, southward, eastward, and westward. Yeah. For all the way in which you see, I give to you and your descendants forever. And I will make your descendants as the dust of the earth, so that man could number the dust of the earth. Then your descendants also could be our number, be number. Listen, yeah. God was able to give Abel this charge Thank after you. he separated from life. Thank you. Yes. God was able to give Abel this charm yes, yes. because he separated from life. Yes, yes. And how many of us, yes. we can't receive the blessings of God because we're still connected in covenant on, relationship yes. with people. Yes. And can God, can God cannot bless you with everybody. Amen. Amen. God, God, everybody can't come to you. Amen. Everybody can't Amen. go to you. See, we're, that's the problem with, with us, myself. We're always trying to take people with us like when God is saying throwing them overboard. Yeah. We're always trying to make them give with because we feel bad when we get blessed with our certain people. We want to be down, but every now and then, don't you understand? Favor is not fair. God said, listen, I can't bless you as long as you're in that bad relationship. I can't give you what you need because guess what? Those friends, they can't handle your blessings. That's why they're jealous of you. Those friends, they can't deal with your authority. Yeah. 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 And guess what? If 
if they don't want to invite you to their circle, create your own circle. Yes. 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 And you listen, who's in your circle? Yes. Guess what? Me, myself, and I. And God. I'm good by myself. Yeah. I'm gonna do it all by myself. If you don't want to be yeah. aligned with what the yeah. God is doing for me, yeah. how many of you miss your blessing? Two of the people that yeah. all they do is take from me. Yeah. Take from me. Yeah. Let me call this. Yeah. Give me that. I'll pay you back in 30 days. I'll give me what I can. And what happens over and over the cycle? Yeah. Let them go. I want to end the relationship yes. and be bitter because somebody owed me some money. Amen. Amen. He said, listen, now that he's gone, now I can bless you. Thank you. Oh, Thank now you. that they're gone, yes. I can do some great things in your life. Yes. Now that they're gone, yes. I can fix your marriage. Yes. Now that they're gone, I can fix your family. Thank now you. that they're gone, I can do something with your kids. Yes. Now that they're gone, I can start helping you get a house. You can help you get a car. Yes. Now that they're gone, you can start fixing your credit. Now that they're gone, your blood pressure that went down, your diabetes that got down. Now that they're gone, you don't got to walk around taking crazy pills every single day. Now that they're gone, may God bless you. He wants to bless you. Yeah. 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 And what's yeah. also awesome? He told Abel, he told Abel, I'm going to miss this job. Yeah. See, he said, Lot, wherever you, where you go, yeah. you choose, and I go the opposite way. Amen. And Lot said, I'm going to the place. I'm going to where, where it got it going on. I'm going to compromise my faith, to compromise who I am, to be in a situation I ain't got no place to be in. And here's what God did. So Abraham said, listen, and I know Abraham was mine. They probably got the best of me. Have you ever been in a relationship, y'all? Yeah. And the relationship broke up, and you thought the person got the best of you? Mm -hmm. Have you ever felt like that? Hey, man. Yes. 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 You were mad. They took your friend. They took, you thought that person was the best thing in the world. They are friends with you no more. You thought they had it going on. Yeah. But look what God told him. He said, look. Abel chose what? Abraham chose the plan. I mean, Lot chose the plan. He chose the plan. So whatever that direction was, he chose that. But God said to Abraham, listen, look north, south, east, and to the west. Yeah. And all of it belong to you. Yeah. This is going to mess your mind. Huh? It didn't make a difference what direction Lot did. It still belonged to Abraham. Yeah. 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 It didn't make a difference what direction Lot went into. When you in that relationship, don't worry about it. They got the best. Don't worry about it. They got over on you. Because whatever they got, it belongs to you anyway. Listen, what happens is when God has blessed you and folks try to take stuff from you, they'll never be able to take what you attach to it. When somebody got something great, your name is always going to come up. Let me explain something to you. I don't care if people get mad. I, mean, I just have the two churches, New Chester and Antioch Baptist Church. And guess what? My name is still attached to both of those churches. No matter who they get a pastor, guess what? I've done some stuff. As a matter of fact, they can have 10 pastors. I'm the only one to help pay off that property. I'm the only one to help them get in that side. I'm the only one to do just what the God of your ministry. In other words, they may take it and you may move on from a relationship, but your legacy will last over and over again. Because guess what? You can take the friendship, but you can't take my anointing and with God. And sometimes God says, let them go. Do not ask them because I got something that's better for you. Come on, let's get out of here, boys and girls. Come on, let's give God a hand play. Come on, let's give God. You ain't got to hang on to bad relationships. You ain't got to hang on. Listen, this is what I want you to do right now. This is what I want you to do right now. This is what I want you to do right now. Everybody put your phone out. Everybody put your phone out. If you got a cell phone, flip phone, whatever it is, everybody put your phone out. You ain't got to go through your contacts. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to dissolve some relationships. Amen. Yes. Yeah. I don't need you to do it right now. I want everybody to lift up their phone. Everybody got somebody on that phone. Right. Yeah. That they need to delete or DNA. Yeah. 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 Everybody got somebody in that phone that you didn't answer the text, you didn't answer the call, and all they do is take from you, all they do is talk about you. Yeah. Listen, when, they, you know, when they went to jail, you yeah. were careful of them, you told people not to judge you, but then when they got on their feet and you got.
got in trouble, they had something, the first one had something to say, who yeah. is self-righteous self. And all I'm saying yeah. is that what I'm going to do is we're going to pray, and we're going to I'm going to give everybody the strength. Yeah. If you go home and you want to right now, y'all need to delete some numbers yeah. out of your phone. Yeah. If they ain't called you in a year, delete their yeah. number. Yeah. If they ain't checked on you and asked you delete their phone yeah. number. Yeah. Guess what? And some family members, you can't delete them, but you can DNA them. Yeah. Yeah. But guess what? There's something you have to be you. Then the person I do talk to will let me know. And I still come see you. I still love you. But every now and then, I'm going to love you from a distance. And every time you call, stop asking people to pay you back. Because if you ain't got to give them, don't give it to them. Tell them no. The best way to get back is to stop calling you and tell them no. No, 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 no. Amen. Listen. We don't love you every Yes. Right now, yes. Yes. We do got some people in your phone yes. that yes. 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 They add no value to your life. Yes. Yes. They have, what they do, sir, there's some numbers in your phone yes. that compromise your anointing. Because yes. yes. the only time they call is when they were at you doing God and stuff, but they don't want to come to church with you. Yes. 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 They want you to do stuff with them. They want you to do her godly stuff with them. Yes. But they won't do godly stuff yes. with you. Amen. Now, we do what you want to do, but we're going to play that. We're going to play that thing. So every time you look at that number, yeah. you're going to be convicted. Yeah. 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 Listen to your phone. Listen to your phone. Yes. Those, are, those, those who are watching, those who are watching, yes. those who are watching, those who are watching, Father God, in the yes. name of Jesus. Yes. We rebuke bad relationships. Yes. Yes. We rebuke relationships yes. that are pulling from us, pulling yes. the spirit and the anointing yes. and the Holy yes. Spirit out of us right. and making us something that we cannot right. look at yes. in the face yes. Thank you. If every time we hang around these people, we got to ask for forgiveness and God bless us, then maybe these people will not need to hang around us. It is the we get to be given the strength and the power to dissolve and move on. So we can open up for you, Father God, for you to bless us. Father, some of us can't even keep money out of our pocket because of friends in that phone. Father God, some of us can't even go to church regularly because of those in that phone. Father God, somebody can't even focus right now because somebody's texting them right now knowing they in church, Father God. Father God, we don't, we don't say that to bad people. We ask you to cover them in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we rebuke that in the name of Jesus. We rebuke bad relationships. We rebuke users, Father God. We rebuke those who try to stack from us and don't pour into us. We rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Come on, everybody say amen. 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 Listen, listen, we don't want to see everyone knows the Lord. We don't want to serve God. Yeah. And we want to give this opportunity. Opportunity. Yes. 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 Thank Jesus Christ you. is your Lord and Savior. Thank you. Thank you. For Jesus Christ is Lord, believe God, raised yes. up from the dead. The Bible says, You shall be saved. Yeah. Thank lastly, you. lastly, 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 lastly. Yeah. Lastly. Yeah. If you want to be part of a church, we're going to give it to you. My goal is the pastor. Listen, one of my goals is. If, if, if you want to think about your church, be a part of it. This is where I'm at. Where I'm at in my life right now is we have to start to bring back the credibility of the church. Amen. When you look at TV, you and me, we're going back and forth with this abortion, back and forth on gay rights, and people saying they took money out of school and all this foolishness. And, and that's the look of the world. And, and, I, and I have to think about it. Yeah. If the world is not changing, why is the world listening to us? Amen. If we're on Facebook, we're on TV, live, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Then we're saying all this stuff. Then why is the world listening? Amen. And this is what I thought about. Is it because the church has lost her credibility? Because we got so much foolishness going on in the church. Why would, why would they listen to us? Amen. Uh, think about it. Why, Amen. Why, like, like, how are you going to talk to us about abortion when you allow young men and women to be raped in the churches? Amen. 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 Why, why did I hear when I was in Arkansas? There was a couple of things I heard in Arkansas that disturbed me. Hmm. I was talking to uh, 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 a member of who I was talking to. Amen. Uh, and they asked me, it was another preacher, and he asked me, you ain't gonna believe what he asked me. Hmm. He asked me, you still got the same wife? Really? What? Really? 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 Now he asked, I'm like, yeah, dude, you know, you know, there, there are some pastors that don't get divorced. There are some pastors that actually don't cheat on their wife. Right? We all don't cheat. 
A lot of us do, but we all do. Amen. Yeah, and, and, and I can't believe that was a question. Mm -hmm. You uh -huh. still got the same white uh -huh. like, What was I supposed to do? Really? <laughs> Again, I'm trying to think, did you know me before her or after? <laughs> <laughs> Only had one. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we, we have to we have to bring back the credibility. Also, did I hear a story? Could they get a young man, a young man in Arkansas, and they're trying to pay him and coerce him not to release his book. He's about to release a book, young gay man. He's not mm. release a book. The reason they don't want him to release the book because the book he calls out some pastors and spiritual leaders who have turned him out. The church don't want him to come out with that book. Well, they believe it's an attack against the church. No, dude, it's an attack against individuals because the church didn't do that. Y'all yeah, see what I'm saying? So, how, so we have to get to a place. How does the church change the world when the church is jacked up? Uh, Let's be honest. Amen. We got some problems. We got some things we got to work out in the church. And my goal as the pastor is to are we perfect? No, I'm not saying that. No. But my goal is to, and you think, to pour into us so we can have some credibility without operating in self righteousness. Because you can't be saved and not be self righteous. Amen. And, and so we have to be diligent in what we do as a church and as a ministry because we want people, when they come to this church, that, because here's the thing when the church is living by the credibility and by the word of the Holy Spirit, by the word of our Holy Spirit, then you don't draw all that mess in your church. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Messy people are drawn to churches that have mess already. All right. Amen. Yeah. Say that. Yeah. Because yeah. it's a breeding ground. It's a breeding ground for immorality because it's already messy there. Amen. See, if you have a church that's standing on the word of God, a full come, they're not going to be comfortable. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Amen. They're going to be mad. They're going to leave yeah. because that's what we hold everybody accountable. Amen. 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 Listen, 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 listen. If you would like to join our church, whatever, just send them an inbox, send me a message, come to me after service. Listen, if you would like to give, donate, uh, sow a seed into our ministry, you can do that at our cash app, a dollar sign got to move, dollar sign got to move. Or you can mail uh, a donation to P.O. Box 2022, Colby, Virginia, 22701. Uh, listen, God has been faithful, God has been good. As my so fact, last week, we had the Move Church Worship Service in Little Rock. Yeah. We raised like $350. Yeah. 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 If you want to give, we have a black box in the back. If you're here, if you want to give, you can do that as we go out. Come on, let us all stand. Let us stand. Listen, congratulations to our musician, Curtis Jones. He got married. Yeah. 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 Listen, listen. He said he was going to be here. I'm like, dude, he's married. I'm a kid, pastor. I'm a kid, pastor. Man, I knew after that girl got married, that girl was so happy. Amen. Amen. I'm like, bro, she ain't going to let you. You're going to be sleeping. Amen. She was happy. And God bless him. Him and Dana, uh, both of them, I, I, I pray over their marriage. But both of them are just good people. Amen. Amen. Uh, reality, reality is, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. Everybody got a passion. Amen. 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 Say that. Amen. 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 So she's a very sweet person. Uh, so I wish them and their family well, their children. Amen. Uh, they just looked happy. It was an awesome event yesterday. Just thankful to be a part of it. Amen. So look at your neighbor and say, I love you. I love you. And ain't nothing to do with you. I love you. Father God, Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to be thank in your you. presence, Father God. We ask you right now to make everyone home safe in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you, guys.